All right, I'm back on the backup phone because <coughs> the primary device went dead. But that's why we have a backup phone so that we can always tap in. Y'all, this has been a very, very interesting um, path for me for the last three decades. Um, not to be so self-indulgent, but this is my feed and my free live platform uh, to serve my heart. As with all of us, life has been just absolutely crazy at times. And we just really have to recognize that everybody's doing the best that they can. Everybody is doing the very best that they can. It looks differently to everybody. It shows up in so many different ways, but everybody is doing the best that they can. Uh, I am so happy and grateful now that I get to share my heart with all of you in this way. You see, I am the descendant of a whole motherfucking slave. That's who I am. I'm the descendant of a whole motherfucking slave. So you're not going to tell me that I can't get on the internet and spread my message of love and positivity because we weren't even allowed to read. One of my interviewees, uh, one of my interviewees of this week said that it's a common saying in the South that I didn't know. That if you want to hide something from one of us, you put it in a book. Now, when he said it, I resonate with it as true, not personally true to me because I'm a lifelong learner and I'm reading new things and reading new passages and taking in new information every day. Every day. I'll be a lifelong learner until I leave this ashy motherfucker. I promise you, I'm always going to be learning and growing and developing myself. Personal development is my kink. I love personal and professional development. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. The knowledge that we need to set us free is hidden in plain sight. Every time someone starts going on and on about all of the problems they have in their lives and all of the difficulties they're facing, the question that I want to ask, but I never ask it and maybe I should start asking it, is when was the last time you read a book? What are you reading right now that's serving and fueling your heart? What's making you go bing bing? What kind of new ideas and fresh perspectives are you introducing yourself to? What kind of ahas are you having? Like, I caught myself today in a pattern. I have a, I have a high tendency towards exciting myself and my work towards burnout very quickly. It's why I've not been going as fast as I could go along the path of life over the last few decades. Because I get really excited and I gas it, gas it, gas it, but you can't stay at a thousand percent for days. Like you can't stay up for three days and still be healthy, black man. You know, you can't skip meals. You know? You just can't do that because that's going to cause you to be out of balance. Cause you to be off kilter. Um, cause you to not have home inside of yourself. And I don't care what happens around me. What's most important in my life is that I am at home in myself. And this week... I saw all of the signs of what's been happening to me in heavy succession for probably, or oh, sorry, in heavy uh, repetition for the last, I don't know, two years. The pandemic kind of knocked me off balance. 
it, it, it took my mojo from me. It made me feel very, very fragile to the elements of life because we really are all fragile to the elements of life. But the pandemic made me hyper aware of my fragility and it really rocked me and shook me to my core in ways that I had yet to still unpack with my therapist on Tuesdays. But because it rocked me so badly, it's it's taken me this whole time to try to find my footing again to move forward in that same sensation of success energy that I had while working on Broadway on and off for many, many years. Never slept on the rocks, but coronavirus like leveled me. It took me out of work for like three weeks and took my money from me and then all of the capitalistic beliefs that we have about our worth um, went with it. And then it's been a rough, rough year and a half or so. That's okay though. Like I said in my previous live, persistence is my superpower. I have a backup phone for when my other phone goes down because I'm a live streamer called to promote love in the earth. It may not look like your love. It may not appear like your love, but I'm called to put love into the earth. And because I come from ancestors, beautiful black people who were not even allowed to read, and I'm quite well-read and literate, we're gonna manifest everything that we want using these free tools. They're here in our hands for a purpose. Anyone using them to go further into depression and despair is using the tool in the wrong way. I will continue to boldly show up and proclaim a word of love. Once again, it may not look like your love because everyone's love is like their thumbprint. It's different. But I will come here even when there's no one watching me. I will boldly and profoundly come here and proclaim a word of love. I will speak life over the people. Even if they can't stand my ass, I will speak love and life over the people. It is my calling, it is my birthright, it is my destiny, it is who I am. It's who I am. I bought the backup phone so that when the first line of communications towards love went down, I'd be able to pick up the backup and just go for it. Love does not take a day off. We take days off and years off and months off from our human relationships, you know, our friendships, our fair weather friendships and things, our casual business relationships, our business friends, you know. We take a long time off from those relationships um, and, and those exchanges and those heart to hearts. But love itself that presence, that power, that fire, fire called love, it does not take a day off. Never ever has love taken a day off on me. I've been here for many decades now and love has never taken a day off on me. My friends will take days off, I take days off, my family will take months and years off. I'll take months and years off. That's what people do. That's how we treat each other. That's our emotional and physical violence. But love, love itself, love herself has never taken a day off. Never. And that's my word to you from my backup phone. Love has never taken a day off. It is not taking today off. And it will never take a day off. That's how steadfast love is for me and for you. Take care, folks. I love you. See you soon.